This week on the RC Shop, we finished the Highway 1 crawler's interior and we probably get ourselves fired. We're gonna start this week by heading back over to the interior shop and get the carpet laid down in the interior. I'll start by removing these tabs we aren't gonna use. Now with those tabs removed, I can go ahead and tape off the areas that we're gonna be adding carpet. With that taken care of, I wanna first take care of building the floor mats before we go back and lay the carpet in the interior. I'll start by drawing out the shapes I want on some cardstock. You could also use some thin styrene. Using cardstock is very easy to cut and shape. The driver's side mat doesn't clear the pedals. No problem, I'll just cut it down a bit. All right, so the shapes and sizes are finalized and fit. So now I've got some solid core speaker wire that I'm gonna to use to outline the mats with. Here's the wire all glued up. Now let's give them a coat of black for base color for the mat. All right, now with them fully coated and dried, they're ready for a diluted white glue mix that we'll use for the glue on the mats. I carefully apply the glue up to the wire border, but not onto them. Prior to adding glue to the mats, I had already prepped a box lined with a bag where we'll do our work. Before the glue dries, I quickly flocked the mats with some black suede flocking. A little tap and there you go. All right, now I'll set those mats aside for a good 12 hours to dry and then follow the same procedure for the interior. All right, both the mats and the interior are now gonna need at least 12, 12 to 15 hours to fully dry. So while they do that, let's go ahead and head back over to the garage and see about putting a motor in that chassis. With all the electronics removed, we have a blank canvas to work with. This home's hobby, 540, 1400 kV motor, should fill that space nicely. I'm going to use stainless hardware wherever I can. Now we'll need to figure out how to best orientate the motor. The wires are going to need to run on the underside. makes for a nice, clean engine bay. 
we will need to find a way to secure and protect the leads as they travel up into the chassis. All right, we'll worry about that wiring later. I don't know about you, but I wanna hear this thing run. The Mamba X ESC that Highway 1 sent over is not terminated for a battery. I searched high and I searched low for a Dean's connector in this shop, and unbelievably, I couldn't find one. But I've got an idea. We'll jump it off with the bomber. It uses the same ESC. The leads are too short and just won't reach. But I've got another idea. The boss left his keys to the GT40 out in the parking lot, and he's out of town. We gotta be extra careful. We're all gonna be fired if we get one scratch on his baby. Frank, pull it around. Seriously, Traxxas? You use a different size connector than the rest of the entire world? I just wanna hear this thing run, and these connectors won't connect. So, I'll just hold it by hand. What could go wrong? Let's give it a try. That thing sounds wicked. And you know, while well, we got the keys to the GT40. You think you'll notice? If you'd like to support the Tandem Sea Television channel, please head over to tandemseatelevision.weebly.com. Any support helps keep this channel alive. All right, let's get back over to the interior shop and pretend like nothing happened. Interior is dried for 12 hours and looks pretty good. With the interior installed, I placed the mats in and they're just too big. I'll rebuild those a little smaller, but for now, we need to fill these gaps with some door sills. I have some corrugated styrene that should work perfect. Now with them cut, I paint them black and use some rub and buff for the final detail. The rub and buff really makes them pop. Now I'll just glue them in place and the gaps are filled. I'm happy how the interior turned out, but unfortunately that's all the time we've got. Don't worry guys, we'll get back to work with Frank next week. Now I've got a car to go repaint. Subscribe, like, share, do your thing. Bye-bye.